All right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Brothers in Arms Chapter 2, where today we are uh, kind of where we left off in the last episode. I did have to go back to the autosave from when we left the bunker because, of course, in the last episode, we did have that odd problem where we weren't able to speak to the Mr. Gutsy here after we got interrupted by the ghouls. And so it never actually moved forward the Great White North. It just always had the checkout him. Uh, so I did reload to see if we could avoid said issue and killed all of the ghouls first with Mr. Gutsy's help, of course. I, I basically ran into the town, uh, pulled them, and then brought them back over here to get his help in murdering them. Though some of their bodies appeared to have disappeared because there were a couple of them over here too. Huh. Weird. But now we should be able to talk with him and finish up that conversation we were having so we can properly move forward everything with the, um, <laughs> the anti-Canadian insurgency training center here. Good times. Good times. So, hi, Drill Sergeant Gutsy. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click Listen. through these things. There we go. I mean, you we did select that last time. Ready to start my training. There's a group of rebels hiding out in this quaint Canadian town uh -huh. behind me. They have allied themselves with the red Chinese called communists. Oh no! Get on it, soldier! Got it, and that's where we got interrupted by the ghouls. So, now we have this, sir. Yes, sir. Get your ass and gang in a move on! Will do, Drill Sergeant Gutsy. And there we go. Investigate Little Canada. <laughs> Yay, everything's fine now, and there's not an icon on him, so we should be okay. Oh, did I dump? Did I? Yeah, no, the door's open. I definitely would have checked in here for things and looted stuff, but let's just give it another quick look. Because, of course, we don't have an icon on the compass for either of the quests we're on now, far from anywhere in Great Wide North, so we just have to investigate the, uh,. Canadian training sim and see what's what. Now, I do remember us going into this building last time, but it looks like some of them might, some of the others might also have places. But I think this one was, uh. Oh god, are there any ghouls that pop up in here? Yeah, some of these had blocked off stairwells, so we actually don't have anywhere we can go. Hello, Rum, I'll take you again. Forgot about you last time. And still love. Hey. A. <laughs> Still love clicking those. Oh, they're magnificent. Oh, man, a Nuka Cola that I missed last time. Oh, heck yeah. Gotta make sure we grab everything we can on this earlier game character. Uh, yeah, no, on all the main street things, it's all pretty much boarded up with nothing we can go into. And I don't think there was anything behind the buildings either, though that building has a lot more Canadian flags than the others. Can I? Nope. Also boarded up. Got it. <laughs> what about the church? I mean, we'll check that after we go around just in case. Ah, uh, yes, all of you I killed. Good times, good times. No, even the church is boarded up. Hmm. Ooh, I don't think I ever clicked you. Hi. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, sorry to you too. All right, we got a building back here at the very end. Oh, with another Canadian. Oh, good day, eh? Yeah, good day to you too. Yeah, where the hell are we investigating? <laughs> I mean, we've got a, what looks like a vertebrate there, barely visible in the fog, but I think that's outside of the training center, perhaps? Yeah, I'm surprised the uh, church is all locked up. So where might we find the things we need? It's just a random ball clipped into the ground. Dead ghouls, good times. I had fun with those too when I was off cam because they were all over here for some reason. There weren't this many when we were over by the graveyard last time, but they all stayed right here and I just shot them through the fence. It was magnificent. <laughs> they had a lot of ammo on them too, which is pretty great. Hmm. Let's head back here. Yeah, everything's boarded up, so I don't know where to look in here. And so it was just a random investigate. Didn't really give us any, uh, any real guidance on where. Oh, do we got anything up here, maybe? No, 
of just going back towards that way. Oh, but hello. Goes up a little bit more here. And now nothing. All right. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't know what we're supposed to be investigating with this place. <laughs> Everything's boarded up. You know, you're all boarded up, too. I'm pretty sure we did check, yeah, that door at the end of the last episode. Was there any doors on the main streets I'm just missing? The only the only interior we seem to have is this restaurant. Am I missing something in here? I mean, besides the hockey sticks, which even though I didn't take one last time, what the heck, let's take one of those this time. <laughs> yeah, no, there's nothing back there. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what we're supposed to be investigating. I mean, every... Every building is blocked up. Including the church, so I don't know where we're supposed to be heading. We didn't really check too much back there, so we'll do that in a sec. But let's just double check these things on, like, the main thoroughfare. Ooh, did I ever interact with you? Hey. Hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> double check the graveyard, too, just in case there's something here that I missed. No. No, we got birds. And lots of dead ghouls. Oh, headstone. Activate. Oh. Oh, all right. Okay, we actually have names on these things. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go check around the back of the hardware store and all. And then, yeah, maybe we do have to go past that area. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that just this, like, Main Street area is all that there is to this training center, but... Who knows, maybe it does uh, go further out. But, I mean, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Nope, nothing with you. Got it. No, it's just that broken down door. Thinking maybe there might be a cellar over there, but there was not. What's it back here? We never went this way, for sure. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Or that. Jeez, I'm in all the wrong things. We got Protectron and Minefield. Alright, so now we're, we're outside the training center at this point. Yeah, what in the world are we supposed to investigate here? <laughs> I mean, I've interacted with all the quote-unquote Canadians. We can't actually get in any of the buildings. Can't get on them either. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. Why am I seeing that Canadian thing there? <laughs> I guess his his uh his text is just stuck. Strange. Disappears when we're away from him though. That's empty. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing. In the cars. Huh? Yeah, let's go check over by that crash vertebrate that I saw. Hey, I really don't know where else to lo- Oh, hello, hold on. Nope, just in part of an exposed septic tank from the look of it. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I thought maybe it would lead to a bunker or something we could go into. But that would be a new. Oh, oh god, frag mines, of course. More frag mines, more frag mines. Yep, all frag mines, but they're off the road. Oh, hello, we got a building here. Hmm. Well, not seeing anything here. Yeah, I'm just going to continue going up here. Wish I could see through the fog right now and see if that's a Canadian flag or not, and if we're still in the training center. <laughs> just got to get closer. Ooh, we're like super blocked in, though, with that. No, I think those are supposed to be American flags. I can barely see them, though, with the fog. Oh, we got feral soldiers. More of you. Got it. No, you seem to be stuck back there. Yeah, no, I think those are... Yeah, those are definitely uh, U.S. flags. Alright, let's check in here. So we're definitely outside of the training area now. Which makes me wonder, what in the world are we supposed to investigate over the... Oh, God, I... <laughs> Oh, well, look at all the supplies, though. Heck yeah. 
Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh boy, gotta pay attention. Are there any other ones in here? No, I think we're good. Oh man, look at all the ammunition. Yes. Oh, and stims. Oh, oh yes, that one had a lot of good stuff. I'll take the purified water too. Nice, nice, nice. More stims. I'll come back to you in a moment. Mini nukes. I actually do have a fat man. So we could use those. Oh my god, this is the best right in here. A combat rifle, I'll take you. You're all worse than anything else I have. You're actually slightly better damaged, but yeah, I like our new 10mm submachine gun. It's pretty awesome. Do I have anything that actually uses 45 ammo right now? Ah, yes, our armor-piercing submachine gun. Hmm... I think I'd prefer the combat rifle, honestly. Do I have anything that takes 38? We might want to grab those guns just to have things that take other ammos. Considering we're going to be probably running into a shortage of some of them. Maybe? No. No. Yeah, yeah, I'll take both these. Yeah, I'm over encumbered. You know what? I've got some of the older crappier 10 mils you know we'll have a drink we're only one pound over <laughs> that sounds like a much better plan than wasting that because i can de deconstruct those back at the bunker and maybe make some uh, adjustments up to some of my others that would be good have that rum yeah sweet we're good <laughs> i think i got all those all right, all right. Well, back down we go. We got all those lovely supplies. Yeah, I wonder is that, I'm just that that training center back there. It's gonna bother me. Investigate Little Canada. We we went everywhere around Little Canada. Investigate the Canada training sim for a triage kit. I think we're getting ahead of ourselves now with coming out here. Granted, it doesn't look like we can actually get through here. Anyways, there's no. Oh, wait. No, hello. Hello, door. Requires key. Okay, okay. Yeah, we can't get through there just yet. We'll probably get that from investigating back there. But what the hell are we investigating? <laughs> I have a bad feeling this entire episode today is just going to be me wandering around in little Canada over here going, What the hell? <laughs> What are we investigating? We can't go in any buildings. A? A? Yeah, do, I mean, do, do we need to definitely interact with all the Canadians? Because I definitely missed some of them last time. A? Uh-huh. We got an A on him. You know, did the other one's light turn off before? Oh, okay, the light stays on, but if I hit it again, it goes away. Take off, eh? Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's let's try that. Maybe I've got to turn on all the Canadians. Well, that sounded weird. <laughs> hey. Hey, yep. Let's give that a go. It's the only thing I can think of right now. Where are more Canadians? Got the shopkeep. Oh! Oh! Something changed! Yes! Oh! We've definitely interacted with this guy last time, and I don't remember it coming up with a thing. Hey, tell me about your store! Oh yeah, I just sell general goods. We have a special on bag milk, eh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for insurgents. Do you have any info? Oh, I might have some if you got me a new hammer, eh? Seriously? Seriously? Well, we found the thing. Find a hammer. Oh, and hey, we actually have an icon this time. Oh, the hardware store owner. Oh my god. We definitely interacted with that shopkeep last time, though. How did that not pop? I don't know. Hello, shopkeep. Hey. Uh-huh. So, what wrenches do you have in stock? No, but out of stock, eh? Oh, okay. Well, I need a hammer. Oh, I might be able to give you a hammer. If you get me some poutine, <laughs> I'm Johnson Bad eh? Also, why, why'd your voice go so low? Well, to poutine! God, I love poutine. <laughs> hey. Hi. 
poutine dealer. Uh, oh, 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 that's probably why I didn't interact with him last time, because I clicked the thing and then was amused by what he was saying uh, with all the different uh, ones that I, yeah, I didn't stay on the little intercom. That's the actual interact point. So, hey, are you a registered dealer? Oh, what to do you, bud? Take off, eh? Oh, wait, no, no, not taking off. We still, I still need some, I need some poutine. Oh, yeah, I can totally hook you up with this stuff. If you get me a beer, eh? Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. Over to the restaurant. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Yep, I never stayed on the little intercom. Hey, what's this place? Oh, this here's our little town, eh? Oh, oh yeah, yes, of course. Uh, can I have a drink? Oh, there's no drinking during this training, eh? Oh, no. How rude. But I, I need a beer, though. Oh, yeah, bud. I can get you some drinks if you get me a... You know, never mind. I don't need anything. Here you go, eh? Thank you. All right, we got the beer, and I'm caring too much again. Ugh. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm just gonna eat some cram, maybe. Yeah, it got us a little bit of rads, but oh well, just use up. So oh, no, don't drink the beer. I was about to drink the beer. That'd be a fool's move. Yeah, just drink a Nuka Cola. There we go. Now we're good. <laughs> now I got the beer. So now we go back to the poutine dealer. Hello. Hey. Okay, here's your beer. Oh, thanks, bud. Now here's your poutine. Careful now, it's addictive, eh? It really is. It's delicious. God, I could go moldy food added. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, hello, hey. hardware man. I have your poutine. Oh, thanks, bud. I really needed my fix. Here's that hammer you wanted, eh? Thank you. All right, on to the next. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, I love it, though. Okay, okay. Hi. Also, turn on my lights and it's getting dark. Hey. I got your hammer. Oh, yeah. There's this guy, Andy Johnson. He keeps heading to the graveyard every day, but he's pretty suspicious. He lives out in that cottage across the street from the hardware store. I check out those two places, eh? Got it. Thank you. Okay. Investigate the graveyard and the cottage across from the hardware store. Well, here's the graveyard. What would be here? I mean, maybe this is where I gotta activate the head sounds. Farmer, brother, friend. Bob McKenzie, beer drinking champion. <laughs> Maude Johnson, beloved mother. Nope, none of you are interactable. I assume we just need to go check out his house because there's nothing here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's nothing here. Got it. Okay, uh, to the house. Also, I want to interact with another Canadian and actually look at their, uh, their thing. But, we'll interact with you first, because you're probably the insurgent, I think. Sorry. He's not inter he's not interacting. Oh, sorry. Aw, oh, dang it. Maybe it's this cottage? I mean, it's definitely, you're further away. Oh, good day, eh? Uh-huh. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Well, is there something at the graveyard? Oh, dear God. <laughs> no, it's definitely one across from the hardware store. There's a door here now. That was blocked off before. What the what? What? The, oh, the graveyard. <laughs> well, I mean... I mean, just, just try them. Oh, lock comes off. Sweet, there we go. Just, just, just tried him. We're good. Check out the cottage. <laughs> Love it. Okay, hello. Oh, dead man. A lot of beer. A lot of empty beer. Hey, triage kit. Sweet. We got what we need there. We also got other stuff. Oh, the, the I guess the info we need to get to Sergeant Gutsy. I'll take the duct tape. All right, Rebel Terminal, what do we got? Death to American Imperialism. Welcome, Comrade Andy Johnson. My amazing plan. 
Uh, I will overthrow the imperialist occupiers and revenge my mother. I have taken control of a sentry bot and will go. Oh no, and com combine my brain with the machine. I have named my creation Moose. Oh dear God, for military onslaught of ordnance sentry. <laughs> Those imperialist American pig dogs will never see it coming as I unleash mechanical hellfire upon them. I'm gonna have to fight that, aren't I? I will destroy liberty and freedom and democracy. <laughs> oh, except America in the pre war fall universe was not very free nor democratic. It was all a sham. Enclave pretty much ruling all from behind the scenes. Oh boy, let's get out you. Yeah, there we go. Bigger gun out. We're gonna have to fight that thing. Oh no. You know, quick save, just in case. It's gonna come out of the garage, isn't it? My garage in front of the house? Uh oh. <laughs> well. Yep, okay, we actually have a waypoint on that too. I didn't notice. Defeat the insurgent! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Time to die, Moose! Oh boy! Okay, oh, Moose is tough! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go behind it, go behind it, go behind it. Shoot in the back, shoot in the back. It went that way because it thinks I'm over there. Perfect. Never mind, it turned around, it turned around! Damn you, Moose! Damn you! You're dead though! Yes! Sweet! Return to Gutsy. I mean, I used more 5.56 five, rounds than that, but I'll take them. I'll take them. And go back to you. Yay. I like this gun. All right, back to Mr. Gutsy. Yay, we did it. <laughs> we found the moose and killed it. One more for the road. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, hi. I've handled the situation. Good to see you, soldier. Mm-hmm. I defeated the Canadian rebels. Good job! Now you're fully pre pre prepared for your deployment to Error 7. Connection failed. Have a good day, soldier! Okay, bye. No, oh, what did he just give me? I'm I'm caring too much now. Bye, drill master. Get out of my face, scumbag! Will do. Hockey stick added. There was something else, though. There was something else. We already have a hockey stick. It gave me something else. I don't know. Oh, boy. Well, we already did pick up one hockey stick, so we'll drop the other. Oh god, drop these two. I'll never use them. There we go. And drop you. Excellent! Now we're back under capacity. There was something else that popped up before the hockey stick, though, and I have no idea. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But! That, 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 that gave me a very quick scare for a brief second because I remembered... Oh yeah, minefield. <laughs> I think we're good this way, though. I didn't get blown up on my way over here, so I think I'm good. Let's head back to this, though, and get that triage kit to our friends. Yay! And into the bunker. Wonderful. I'm glad we eventually figured out the the insurgent thing. I was so confused. Because, yeah, last time we kept clicking the interact, and then, of course, I'd be amused by the Canadian-ness and have a good laugh, and so I never stayed on any of them long enough to get the the conversational interact point. <laughs> Colvin, I got the stuff! <clears throat> did you find the triage kit? I did! Hey, you doing alright, buddy? I'll be fine. Ridley is the priority right now. Find those medical supplies. Got him right here! Yeah, that town's pretty weird. It's a pre-war training simulation for the occupation of Annex Canada. Shouldn't have changed since I was here last. Thank you for getting the supplies. No problem. There's one more thing I need. My rifle back. I know it might be a bit morbid to go there, but I need you to check the crash site for anything you can recover. Oh, was that the vertebrate that we saw earlier? Huh. Or is there going to be another vertebrate somewhere? Uh, if I find any bodies, what should I do? Just leave them to rest. The priority now is to focus on the living, not dwell on the dead. Got it. So is Ridley going to be okay? I've been praying for her to be. And now with the supplies you delivered, I believe she will recover quickly. Excellent. I'll get going. You don't have to use ranks right now. Just try to recover what you can. And if you can, find my rifle. Got it. Okay, we've now completed Far From Anywhere, dealt with the Canadian Scourge. 
<laughs> and now we have our new mission, Old Friends. Okay, so search the crash site for Colvin's rifle. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I... You know, that's not going to show us anything, is it? No, I really wish we had a map here. I am intrigued. Let's just pop outside the bunker real quick, because I actually think I'm going to end the episode here in a moment. Uh, even though we're a little bit earlier than the usual time. Ooh, different direction. That's what I wanted to see. I was curious if it was going to be that vertebrate we saw over there. But no. We got a vertebrate over here. And considering the name of this quest, I have a feeling we're probably going to, uh, you know, encounter some people here. Or, you know, find the body of the pilot guy who, eh. <laughs> we only just met him. What, two episodes ago, so eh, never really formed a connection with him. If Colvin would have died or Ridley, then I'd have been sad. But that dude, I don't even remember his name. <laughs> I mean, granted, that's not too strange for me. I remember very few things. But, yeah, so off cam, I'm going to see with the parts that I do have if I might be able to upgrade any of these weapons. Though, let's actually, yeah, before we do end... What sort of upgrades did we have on the new weaponry... Did I check that last time with our um, our lovely new SMG? So we got the standard receiver here. Let's see, yeah, it looks like we can get some much more powerful one. I've only got rank 2 in Gun Nut right now, though. Ooh, that's rank 3. So yeah, the automatic receiver is looking like probably the best we could do right now if I want to stick with automatic, which I think I will. Unfortunate, unfortunate. I would have loved a better automatic receiver, but I'm still a couple of levels away from the level requirement for rank 3 of Gun Nut. Might be good to get a longer barrel on this thing. Got a light stock on there. Ooh, much better. One of these stocks would probably be good, but again, ah, oh, the Gun Nut perk. Ugh, oh, I'm just so not used to having a, a lower tier character. <laughs> I'm so used to having all of my skills and everything. You know, a red dot would be great. Oh, I'm probably, I might not be able to find the materials, though. I might be able to with all the things we've got around here, but we'll see. Yeah, we did see the integrated suppressor, which I'll keep because that's cool. And, of course, the iron sights. We can change that up. Need some steel. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could find all the materials for this stuff off cam. That wouldn't be a big deal. But yeah, I think that's going to be a good place to actually uh, end the episode then here today. I will see if I can make some upgrades to my guns before heading out. And next time we'll go look for the vertebrate and see what's what. But until that time, uh, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, we'll have a good one. <laughs>